more localized flooding today, Melissa, because those temps are heating up. They are heating qu up quickly. They did yesterday, made it all the way back into the mid-40s. That's melting all of that snow and ice. A lot of people have been asking me, uh, what is this doing for the drought situation, which obviously was severe as we headed into the storm late last week. So here's what we're seeing so far. Again, the rain uh, that we picked up and the snow and the ice, it all adds to the precipitation levels. And that has brought down that deficit now to about four inches. We did get over two inches of precipitation from Thursday through Saturday. So that was all good when it comes to drought conditions. And we're likely going to add another two inches of rainfall coming up in the next 48 to 72 hours. So uh, in terms of just drought and the water that we do need and the snowpack that we need, uh, these storms definitely helping out. Temperature wise, again, it's been well below average. The average high temperature is 50 degrees. Yesterday, we got much closer to that at 46, but that was the warmest that we had been in about five days. Record still in the upper 60s. Uh, and of course, we've been nowhere close to that. Now, the average low temperature this time of year is only 35. Again, we still frequently drop down to that freezing mark this time of year as we did yesterday. Uh, but I don't expect us to get back down to freezing for at least the next week. Here's a look at the rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. Those over a third of an inch in Corvallis and uh, about three quarters of an inch in Newport. Those are the hardest hit areas. Head further south, uh, just a few hundreds. But again, we're all going to see this heavy rain picking up throughout the day. And it's not really going to let up for the rest of this week. Temperatures continue to warm up with that. So it's not only the rain that's falling, but it's also that snow and ice that is quickly melting. 36 right now in Eugene, but it's already at 45 in Salem, 44 in Roseburg. Similar conditions along the coast, also well above freezing as you head over into Central Oregon. And even Portland, this time yesterday, they were sitting in the low 30s, seeing freezing rain. And now it's just plain old rain as highs do, uh, and current temperatures continue to push back into the mid 40s. So we're already seeing showers again here this morning. That is changing over to snow above 5,000 feet. Uh, but it's just going to continue sort of light and off and on here throughout the day. It's really going to pick up as we head into late tonight. And that's because this storm is going to roll through. First, we'll see the warm front late tonight. That'll bring in that heavy rain, uh, which is going to start after about 7 o'clock tonight. And then through the overnight hours, we're going to see those winds really start to pick up after about 10 o'clock tonight. The heavy rain is going to continue as well, and the highest winds will be out along the coast. That rain is going to stick with us all day Wednesday. And you can see that on Stormcast here. Heavy rain again starting late tonight. That is snow initially across Cascade Passes. In fact, overnight could see five to nine inches of snowfall. But as we head into Wednesday, that changes back to all rain for all of us. Heavy rain all day Wednesday, and we don't get a break until we head into Thursday midday before that next storm hits quickly Thursday night. So just uh, be prepared for uh, heavy rain on the way, and especially those strong winds along the coast. High wind warning goes into effect at 10 o'clock tonight. We'll see wind gusts up around 65 miles per hour. Otherwise, it's just going to be wet and those highs back into the mid 50s. The Umqua Basin seeing showers uh, changing over to heavier rain later tonight. Highs in the mid to upper 50s, so still on the warm side. Cascades seeing as much as two inches of snow today, five inches tonight. Again, that snow level is continuing to climb though, 5,000 feet already. Central Oregon upper 40s for you. Also seeing those showers and breezy conditions here late tonight. And for the Willamette Valley, highs will be in the low 50s today. So we do continue to warm up. Showers Hours this morning, heavy rain with those breezy conditions tonight. And then over the next seven day stretch, it doesn't really let up. Heavy rain all day Wednesday at the coast. Uh, you'll see those showers continuing all the way through the weekend. Same story for the Umqua Basin. Highs holding in the mid to upper 50s. The Cascades again seeing snow mixing to rain tomorrow back to a snow rain mix at the end of the week, then back to all snow this weekend. And for the Willamette Valley, highs in the low 50s, and we are looking at chances for rainfall every single day this week.